Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about a great feature of Jupyter Notebook. It's the magical magic command of Jupyter Notebook. Okay, but before that, I forgot to mention about a very important and helpful keyboard shortcut in the last video. The help keyboard shortcut. You can just press H to get the help window and look up commands of your need. You may also try looking at this every day for few minutes until you have memorized them. It's a great help as the name suggests. Now let's get started with the magical magic command of Jupyter Notebook. If you are very fond of command line like I am, you will definitely like this feature of Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook has a set of predefined magic functions like cd, ls, run, load etc which run like command line style syntax. So how do you invoke magic commands? You use single modulus or double modulus. Okay, what is the meaning of single modulus and double modulus? Single modulus is a line magic command and double modulus is cell magic command. We will understand more in just some time. Let's start with our very first magic command ls magic. This command lists down all the magic commands which is present in Jupyter Notebook. So if you see the output of ls magic here, it has listed down all the magic commands which is present in Jupyter Notebook. So this is it, alias, alias magic, autocall, automagic and other, other magic commands. So these are cell magic commands um, like modulus modulus HTML, modulus modulus SVG, modulus modulus Python, Ruby script, JavaScript and so on. Please note, when auto magic is on, modulus prefix is not needed for line magics. So you can create your own alias like you can do in Linux. So here I have created an alias called GG which is echoing. This is Jupyter Notebook and it's awesome. So when I try to use GG, it's uh, printing the same. The next magic command is PWD which will give you the present working directory. The next magic command is cd to change directory. Again if you do pwd you, have, you can see the directory has changed. Again you can go back to your current working directory by using the cd command. You can also create uh, uh, directories using modulus mkdir command if you see it will be available here. Um, I'm not able to find it. Yeah, see, you can remove directory. You can also create directory. Yeah. So you can use um, all the common Linux commands like ls. Then cat doesn't work. You can use pycat to see the content of a file. So let's try that. So if you see here, there is another window open and the content of foo.py is shown. So if you want to see what is the content of foo.py, we can see that here, this is foo.py, okay, in the same path. Now, we can move forward. There is another uh, magic command called load. So let's remove this. So we want to load the content of foo. So what it does is whatever is there inside foo.py will get loaded in this particular cell and the load command will get commented out. So when I run this, the load, load magic command got commented out and um, the content of foo.py which is this got uh, loaded here in this cell and if you see here the cell is not executed you need to execute the cell again to run the content okay so now if I try running print foo oh if I try running print foo function it will give the output which is hi this is foo okay now, um, I have another fi file called bar.py and it has this content, nothing special. Um, and now, I, I am importing bar 
and then if you want to see the details of what is there inside bar you can uh, uh, prepend bar with a uh, double question mark and again a new window will open and it will show the content of bar you can also see that by using shift tab so if you press shift tab once it will show the signature the doc string this function prints the uh, string for bar model which I have written here let's try it with scatter function okay so if I press shift tab once okay we'll try again press shift tab once it is just giving the what is the content of the function and what arguments does it take when you press shift and tab two times it will print the doc string two and if you press shift tab three times it will open yeah it will open the whole uh, doc string in a new window so that's very interesting and very handy because every time you write a function or if you want to call a function and you want to know about the arguments you can memorize what arguments each function take so you can just directly look up uh, what what uh, arguments that function take by just pressing shift tab so if you see here print takes a value and then there is a separator end file sysout and all those stuff so this helps a lot while you are coding in Jupyter Notebook okay so let's go back you can directly run a Python file also from Jupyter Notebook so if you see I have run.py here uh, run.py has content uh, a for loop which is iterating 10 times and then um, it's printing this is a line and the i value so if I do modulus run and then the the file name of the uh, python code which you want to run and then just press shift enter it will just execute the run.py file okay now we can also share variables among multiple Jupyter notebooks like we are doing here um, so I have created a global var and I am writing I am a global variable and I can be shared between multiple notebook this is a string which is getting stored in global var then I am using the magic command modulus store on global var to see what is there in global var in another Jupyter notebook so this is my, my old Jupyter notebook uh, we can just try running uh, modulus store minus r and global var so it will um, load the global var variable in the current Jupyter notebook and then when you try running it it will just give me the output uh, of that variable like the content of that variable so let's try doing let's try to make some change here let's say I have written this now I have stored the global variable and I come back to my old um, Jupyter notebook so the variable got updated the next magic command is time it tells us the time taken to execute a particular line of code so if you see here I have uh, printed uh, a string and it took 0 nanoseconds to execute that particular line of code um, in this case also it took 0 nanoseconds but when I am executing or I am running a for loop it took 1 millisecond so this is the time magic command then there is a load ext magic command which is helpful in loading the uh, loading external magic commands which is not native to Jupyter notebook like SQL or auto reload a question mark at the end of it and it will give me a doc string saying the uh, the modulus load ext magic command loads an ipython extension by its module name okay now this is an external uh, extension which can be used as a magic command later on so I am loading that external auto reload uh, extension and I have loaded it already so this is uh, throwing error but you can 
you can try doing reload ext or in a new Jupyter notebook you can just write load ext if you see here the bar dot print bar so there is a bar dot py file and it has a print bar function and this print bar function prints the string okay now when I try to run this it is updated now again if I do change here save it and then try to run it again it gave me the updated string so since auto reload extension is already loaded the string got updated so if you want to see the details of auto reload we can just try opening this so this is the doc string and it explains what auto reload does so auto reload 0 will disable automatic reloading and auto reload 2 will enable auto reloading so let's try disabling auto reload so I have disabled auto reload now I will make a change here save it now if I try to call bar dot print bar it didn't the change didn't show up now let's enable auto reload so let's set it to 2 again and then try to print bar dot print bar the change got shown up so that is the external module auto reload which we loaded using load ext now there is another very useful um, magic command called matplotlib if I do inline what this does is whatever graph you want to plot will not get plotted in a new window or somewhere else it will get plotted in the Jupyter notebook current Jupyter notebook itself so here I have tried plotting a graph so I have taken this code from the scatter plot code of um, uh, matplotlib this is like a great help and you need not like jump between multiple files or multiple browser uh, multiple tabs in the browser because it's a waste of time so if it is in single file um, it's very useful and um, it looks good okay so that's all in magic commands there are few good things in Jupyter notebook which you, you also must know that is the exclamation mark so if you are in Linux environment and if you want to execute a Linux command you can just use uh, exclamation mark so here I have used exclamation mark ls star um, ipynb so it is print uh, listing down all the ipynb files so you can also try using exclamation mark cat and it will cat the file and you can use echo or any other command uh, which you like so now let's start with uh, double modulus so double modulus is a cell magic command so whatever we saw till now was line magic command so everything was written in a single line so yeah so all of them were in a single line now these which start with double uh, double uh, modulus are uh, a cell magic command so you can do multiple like you can have multiple lines and they will interpret it correctly so yeah see so this particular cell is of HTML type and a uh, Jupyter notebook is uh, interpreting it as HTML and it is giving me the output accordingly pretty interesting right so if you want uh, a cell to be interpreted as javascript you can just write modulus modulus javascript and then i have written this code which will uh, pop show me an alert so i'll just press shift enter and you can see the alert here interesting okay you can also execute bash script and you can do multiple things so i have i have, have written a for loop here which is iterating five times and equaling very simple script and it is getting executed so there are multiple other double modulus magic commands which you can see uh, okay friends that's all for today if you have not pressed the like button yet 
please just go and press it it's very simple and don't forget to subscribe bye bye